YouTube, what's happening? So, happy belated Mother's Day. I know it's after midnight, but hey, whatever. Spent the day with my mom, so doing it now. Anyway, look at what I found. This is so cute. Came from a stuffed animal that my puppy chewed to shit, so whatever. But anyway, I'm going to show one of my, one of my grails. Um, maybe some of you have this Funko in your collection. Maybe some of you missed it. Um, as of right now on the PPG uh, uh, Funko app that I use, this Funko Pop is currently around the $190 to $220 range. I've seen it go up and down periodically through the past couple months, but still one of my favorite pieces. Um, I also have another one that's kind of a grail, it's, but it's only worth like 60 or 70 And I don't see it within easy access here. So... I guess we won't show that one either but this one's the i think the cooler one of it of the of, of of all my magic the gathering pieces and i figured since i'm opening a magic the gathering box why not do magic the gathering funko that's really cool and a lot of people i think is really cool where is that other piece though anyway doesn't matter so we'll get rid of this So I know it doesn't show you a whole lot of what it is, but as you can see, it is Garuk Wildspeaker. So, and no, he is not my favorite um, planeswalker, but uh, is like I said, this is one of the cooler pieces. My favorite planeswalker is a toss-up between Jace and a Johnny, but I, I lean more towards Jace because my favorite color is blue water all that good stuff so without further ado y'all check out this little number let me see if we can't no see that makes it worse it is the flat black and flocked Garuk, Wild Speak. This is one of my favorite, favorite pieces. I'm going to see if I can't. Because that glare is pretty bad. Let's see if I can't pop him out of here. Very nice. Very gently. Ah. As you all can see, the box is in pretty good condition. I mean, no, no real issues. So, this is pretty, pretty minty, but. There you go. That's a much better look at it. But yeah, one of my one of my favorite pieces in my collection that I own. Like I said, I figured since I was cracking a magic bundle why not show this cool little piece that I have in my collection that I managed to score I actually bought this from uh, the first Las Vegas amazing comic-con that's where I got this bad boy and I think I picked him up for because I bought two um, I bought a flocked a Johnny while uh, a Johnny uh, 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 Gold Lance, Gold Mane, um, which is pretty cool, and I got the, uh, got like, I don't know, like 20 bucks off of what it would have been had I paid full price for both of them, so I was pretty stoked to grab that. And now, as you can see, as you can see, I 
got me a Strixhaven bundle box from, <laughs> believe it or not, Barnes and Noble. And now Barnes and Noble Noble has started doing their own. Um, you can only buy one item of a uh, trading card. And it doesn't matter if it's a sleeved. It doesn't matter if it's a box like this. It doesn't matter if it's a whole booster pack box. You can only get one item. So I couldn't get this and a, a sleeve or two. It can only be one item. So if this hadn't been here, I would have been stuck getting only one sleeve. And that's just what really sucks. But luckily, this was the last one of these they had. So I swooped on it. And here we are. Cracking it open. This also has a foil promo card in it. It's also got foil lands and regular lands. It's got a countdown dice. It's got a cool little storage box to store all your shiz in. So what I normally do is I keep, uh, when it has a set specific storage box, I like to keep just that set in the storage box. And that's what I do. That's what I do. That's how I roll. That's what I do. I also like to check out, oh, what is that? Declare your college. See, now that's cool. Silver, Silver Quill, Prismari, Witherbloom, Lorehold, and Quandrix. Oh, and look at that. That is way cool. Let's see if we can't. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. That's one school. 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 I'm not sure if that's a school or not, too, or if it's like me, you know, the, the commons or where they all meet. How many are there? Five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then, yeah, where they all, it's the commons, I guess you could call it. I don't think there's anything in here. I like to check out the... Math Wizards, Rock Jocks. It says Lorehold Rock Jocks, Math Wizards, Quandrix, Debate Duelists, Silver Quill, Art Club, Prismari, and Swamp Punks, Witherbloom. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, let's check out the stuff in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Whoa, whoa. Okay, got a little topper thingy. Let's check it out. Check it out. Okay, so here's that promo Archmage Emeritus. I think this is where the is that the foil lands. Yeah, because these are the regular lands. So this is the foil promo plus the foil lands behind it. And check out this cool little countdown dice. Like a golden marble. Yeah, I cut the shit out of my thumb at work, so sorry about that. That's pretty cool. That is a pretty cool. Okay, give me the little box with the packs in it, and we shall put everything in the pack. You want to go back? We will keep you out. We will keep you. Dirty time from it. Bam. All right. What? What is 
reference aids. Oh, reference cards. Now that's cool. So if you're new to magic, you can keep these off to the side or, you know, a little in front of you. And uh, not forget what to do during your your steps. Also gives you a quick little um, intro into what each type, each format of magic is. Standard, booster, draft, commander. How to cast spells. Oh, sorry. So you know which which type of, of land to tap and how many of any other kind of uh, mana to spend to use this card. Oh, see, I'm smacking my camera around. Blocking and attacking. So if you're attacking, you use the number in front. If you're blocking, you use the number in back against the attacker's front number and vice versa. That is that. That is that. That and there is no more. Alright, so here we go. We got ten packs. Nothing nefarious looking there. You're nefarious looking. So here we go. One. Two. A three. I love these pack arts. A four. And a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do love opening packs. I really do. Bloom Campus. Huh. No token that I could see. Token. <laughs> Wasn't that a character on South Park? Token. Witherbloom Campus. That is both a swamp and a forest. Skull is swamp. Tree is forest. In case you didn't know. Witherbloom Pledge Mage. Alright. Tree Folk Warlock. Cram Session. Star Pupil. And for those that don't know, I don't read the commons, but I do read the uncommons uh, and the rares and mythics. <coughs> Same with foils. Serpentine Curve. First day of class. Professor of Zoom Zoom and Zoom and see. Unwilling Ingredient. I remember that one from the last packs we've opened. Guiding Voice. Over here. <laughs> I found out what this this means. It means these are lessons. Expanded anatomy. Put two plus one. Oh, look at that. It even says fucking lesson right there. I wonder if it did on the other ones. I don't know. Probably did. I'm just an idiot sometimes. I like to smoke. Leave me alone. Put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. It gains vigilance until end of turn. Ah. First uncommon, Mortality Spear. Instant. This spell costs two less to cast if you gained life this turn. Destroy target non-land permanent. Death is my life's work. It's the quote at the bottom. Second uncommon. It's an artifact creature golem. Reflective golem. 
Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets only reflective golem, you may pay two. If you do copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. We don't cut through Sedgemore anymore. Can't get five steps without a groff trying to fight its home reflection. Ooh. Ooh. That looks pretty interesting. Third uncommon. Mage Hunter. Creature Horror. Whenever an opponent casts or copies an instant or sorcery spell, they lose one life. One of the Oryx's most powerful tools is the Mage Hunter, a vile monstrosity created to seek out and stuff out, snuff out the arcane. <laughs> Zaya, you're a shit ass. Oh! <gasps> Do you see this, guys? Oh, who is it? Yeah! Rowan, schol Scholar of Sparks. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Sign in blood. I've got this one already, but look at that. Oh! Will, Scholar of Frost. I didn't know it was a... What? What? I did not know that. Oh, guys, that is, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm speechless. That is, that is just too cool. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I got to get my phone. I got to know. I got to know. You guys stare at that for a second. I'm going to go grab my phone. Zaya, what are you doing? You're a silly little bird. Okay, that's a ten dollar. That was close. Did I ruin it? No, we're still good. Yeah, it's a ten to twelve dollar card. The foil is like 25 bucks. What's the regular? What's that one? Ah, oh, okay. That's the bordered one. Okay. Yeah, I definitely got the borderless. I'm happy. That's an awesome first pack fucking luck hit right there. <clears throat> fucking Planeswalker in the first pack. It's actually two Planeswalker because Will's on the other side. That is sick.
All right, let's keep that going. Keep it going. Sorry, y'all. I, I, I just... I mean, it's not like I sold these packs, so I, I, I don't have to be too worried about keeping them in the frame, but still. Don't want you think... Don't want you guys thinking I'm doing anything nefarious to get these cool-ass hits. There's a token. Totally lost. Oh, and I'm seeing some I'm seeing some borderless out there. Elemental. Elemental token. Come on. That is a weird token. That is a weird elemental. I mean Hmm. All right. Back up. Silver Quill Pledge Mage. Needle Thorn Drake. Oh, oh, let go. Arch, Archway Commons. Eager first year. Soothsayer Adept. Illustrious Historian. Field Trip. Hunt for specimens. Star pupil. Had that, that had that one in the first pack. Environmental sciences. There's another lesson. Okay. First uncommon. Kelpie Guide. It's a creature beast. Untap another target permanent you control. Tap target permanent. Activate only if you control eight or more lands. Kelpies are drawn to paradoxes, making them ideal companions for Quandrix mages. Oh, second uncommon is an instant called Flunk. Target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is 7 minus the number of cards in that creature's controller's hand. I assure you, no one fails my course more than once. Third uncommon, Humiliate. It is a plain skull sorcery. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it. That player discards that card. Put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature you control. Ah, uh, what's that? No comeback? <laughs> right. Here we go. Ooh, Hall of Oracles. And it's a land. Add one mana of any color, or tap, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Activate only as a sorcery, and only if you've cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn. And we got an uncommon whirlwind denial. It's an instant water. For each spell and ability your opponent control opponent's control, counter it unless its controller pays four. Oh. 
If they are trying to storm your palace, you must become the storm. That was the last card. Alright, I want to see... Yeah, not even a dollar. Still, that's a handy card to have in a in a match. That'll that'll bring you some some needed stoof, some needed mana. Oh sh shit, guys! Sorry, I left my drink. Damn it! Oh damn it, Bobby! Bobby, what the hell? Oh, God damn it, bother yourself. Whole pain of accessories. If I had half of mine, <clears throat> or you go all the way back to be with some butthead. You them boys have been a whacking my trailer. <laughs> Who's that? Mr. Anderson. I'll tell you, Martha, there's something wrong with these kids. <laughs> Got another token. So, you know, uh, I found that normally when there's no token, you get an extra little kicker card. Like an extra, that's, that's your, like your foil or some shit, usually. Luca, Wayward Bonder. Huh. Interesting. All right. Let's get this a little closer. Ooh. 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 Okay. How's that? Is that good? You like that? It's fine for me. Moldering Karak. I said Karak. Don't get any ideas, assholes. Lorehold Campus. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, you're welcome. Car cheesy. Owlin Shield Mage. Owlin Shield Mage. <laughs> hey, can you dogs keep your fur off my face? Bird Warlock, huh? Soothsayer Adept. We've seen that one. Merfolk Wizard. Pillar Drop Warden. Seen that one in a previous break. Spirit Dwarf. Scurrid Colony. Ah, Creature Squirrel. That's a fucking squirrel? Man. Ah. I don't know. That's, uh... Jeez. Arrogant Poet. Is that even possible? <laughs> Stone Rise Spirit. Now that's some cool artwork. Look at that. That'd make a pretty cool tat. Frost Trickster. Huh. That is a bird wizard. Okay. Spirit summoning. Create a 3-2 red and white spirit creature token. I, I know, guys. I said normally I don't read the commons, but... It's a lesson. Fucking sue me. Overgrown arch. Plant wall. Ah, it's one of the first walls I've seen, I believe. That arrow's in the way. Defender, which means it can't attack. Can't attack. You gain one life. Or pay two, sacrifice overgrown arch, and learn. 
You may reveal a lesson card you own from outside the game and put it into your hand. Or discard a card to draw a card. See, and that's why it has no power, because it's Defender. You can only block with it. It can't attack. Unless you have a sorcery that allows it to attack, or an instant, or something that gives it the ability to attack. And then it will override the Defender ability. Next uncommon is Rip Apart. This is a Mountain Plane Sorcery. Choose one. Rip Apart deals three damage to target creature or planeswalker. Or... Destroy target artifact or enchantment. And there are cards out there that will allow you to, instead of choose one, will allow you to pick or choose both. Torn from history, torn from memory, torn from reality. So dark. So dark. And should be, well, I can't say last uncommon because who knows what that one behind it is uh, behind the rare devouring tendrils it's a forest sorcery target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker you don't control when the permanent you don't control dies this turn you gain two life what happens if that Oh, when a permanent you don't control dies this turn, you gain two life. Okay. So make sure you hit something they uh, the opponent owns that's going to die when you hit it. Or just keep hitting it until it dies before your turn ends. That way you're guaranteed your two life. Witherbloom spells often take on the appearance and personality of their components. Okay, here we go. Oh, what do we get? Flame Scroll Celebrant. That's a pretty cheap card. Creature Human Shaman. Whenever an opponent activates an ability that, that isn't a that isn't a mana ability, Plane Scroll Celebrant deals one damage to that player. Isn't a mana ability. Yeah. This is a lesson, too. wonder if it's the instant on the other side. Flame Scroll Celebrant gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn if you pay one and a mountain. What's behind it? Oh, look at that. It's a sorcery. Instant. Or maybe that just means it's school-specific. I don't know. Your opponents can't cast spells or activate Planeswalker's loyalty abilities this turn. Exile, revel, in silence. Sit down and be silent! No, sit down and listen! <laughs> that reminds me of Diablo. Uh, Deckard Cain. What does he say? Stay a while and listen. Claim the Firstborn. Yeesh. Gain control of target creature with mana value 3 or less until end of turn. Untap that creature. It gains haste until end of turn. Will. They have a copy of Tales of the Fake here. Want me to read you a bedtime story? Okay. Just a little curious here. Let's see. Oh, that's the Japanese version. Yeah, nada. Yep. So far, only one, one good hit. 
But that's all right. We're only four packs in. Train kept going all night long. Train kept going all night long. On hill, we on dough. But that's more than the soul. Token. Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh. No token. Just a welcome to the arena. You throw that over there. Then we throw it away. Then we throw it away. Teach by example. Seen this one. Thrilling discovery. Spectacle mage. I do like that artwork. That is pretty cool. Whoops, 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 whoops. Cogwork archivist. Waterfall Aerialist. That's pretty interesting. Tome Shredder. You get damn puppy. Bayou Groth. It's a plant dog. Ah. Professor's warning. Ooh. You better watch that shit. Combat Professor. See? I told you. Professor warned you. <laughs> Elemental Summoning. How about that? It's a lesson. First Uncommon. Grinning Ignis. It is an elemental creature. Return Grinning Ignis to its owner's hand. Add colorless mana, two colorless mana, and a mountain. Activate only as a sorcery. On rare occasions, a Prismari student will summon an elemental that shows such promise that it's permitted to stay and enroll. Hey, uncommon land, access tunnel. Add a colorless mana. Or pay three and tap. Target creature with power three or less can't be blocked this turn. Auric agents stick to the dark corners of Ar Arcavios. Unseen yet ever present. Zaya, what are you doing? Zaya. Zaya! Silver Quill Apprentice. What? Look at this, you guys. Look at that thing. You're doing it. Oh, you're doing it. Hey. What's the matter with you? Huh? What are you getting into? You silly puppy? Yeah. She's a silly puppy. Okay. Where were we? Silver Quill Apprentice. Human Warlock. Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, target creature gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. She had spoken the words a hundred times, but under the spotlight, in front of everyone, something new emerged, and the crowd went wild. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. What's it gonna be? Tempted by the Auric. Sorcery. For each opponent, gain control of up to one target creature or planeswalker that player controls with mana value 3 or less. To exact his vengeance, Exodus needed followers. His infiltrators recruited promising mage students from the very halls he sought to destroy. 
That son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, what do we get? What do we get? Oh, brainstorm. You know what, guys? The foil brainstorm from Mercadian Masks is like almost $400. And I have one. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Draw three cards, then put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. Yep, same ability. I wonder what this one's rolling for. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Watch, this should tell me too. Yeah, look at that. Mercadian Mass. $421. Huh? Uh-huh. Is that not sweet? Yeah, I don't know why it's that much. Strict Haven. Nice. Wow, why is that one so much? Oh, wow, that's the Japanese version? That is cool. Wish I had that one. Okay, so the foil version of the Brainstorm is 10 to $12, but the Japanese version is even regular is 20 So yeah, that one's not even a dollar. Still, that's pretty cool. Got a brainstorm. <laughs> it's funny. I have the Mercadian mask version. Wonder if it's because it's like one of the first, I don't know, foils. I don't know. It's just because the regular ones not worth shit. Fractal token. Kind of cool. But then on the other side, it's got draft archetypes. Shit, man. Telling ya. Oh, I saw a foil. We got a foil. All right. That little straighter. All right. Did 
There we go. Excavated wall. Ex exhilarating elocate, el elocution. 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 Whatever. Elemental masterpiece. Serpentine curve. First day of class. Press Professor of Zoomancy. Unwilling ingredient. Guiding voice. Mascot ex exhibition. Whoa, what is this doing in the middle of the pack? You see that? It's a lesson, too. Create a 2-1 white and black inkling creature token with flying, a 3-2 red and white spirit creature token, and a 4-4 blue and red elemental creature token. Don't just win the game, win the crowd. Wow. Look at that, you all. You can actually get a goddamn mythic dead center of the pack. Well, SOB. So our first uncommon, sorry guys, I didn't even recognize that that son of a bitch was popping up like that. That's fucking wild. I love it. I love it. Team Pennant, first uncommon, artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and has vigilance and trample. Equipped creature token, one. Equip three. Choosing a challenge based on Mage Tower results in discouraged, but not unheard of. Wait. Oh, choosing a college based on Mage Tower results result is discouraged, but not unheard of. Creative Outburst. Instant. Creative Outburst deals 5 damage to any target. Look at the top 5 cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest to the bottom of your library in any in a random order. Discard Creative Outburst. Create a treasure token. Third Uncommon. Wormhole Serpent. It's a serpent. <laughs> Target creature can't be blocked this turn. After drowning, devouring, and one highly unpleasant algae infestation, unsupervised portal use on campus was banned. You hear that, y'all? Banned. Alright, here we go. Sorcery. Devastating mastery. It is a plains. You may pay two any mana and two planes mana rather than pay this spell's mana cost. If the two and planes, if the two colorless and two planes was paid, an opponent chooses up to two non land permanents they control and returns them to their owner's hand. Destroy all non land permanents. All of them. We got Negate. It's an uncommon instant counter target non creature spell. Shatter your opponent's spell with enough force and you'll shatter their confidence with it. And our Paulo is reject. <laughs> That's funny. And that was our last card. Oh, that's too much. Yep, that would be mine.
Not even a dollar for that one. Bummer. But hey, we will keep it. It's a nice little score in the middle of the pack. Middle of the pack. Sorry, I was just noticing the Meek Stone Seventh Edition is like two hundred and some dollars. Like I said, that's the foil edition. See, all your older foils are just—they were so rare. They're worth a buttload. Oh. Oh. I don't see a token advertisement. Trying to see if we can tell if it's a blank, blank or not. I don't want to give too much away. Oh, it is a blank. It is a blank. The thing about this is, is that you can write what you want. You can use this card to represent double-faced cards. Ah. Gotcha. Gnawing away at whatever you got there, huh? All right, here we go. Ogiar Battle Seer. It's an ogre shaman. Quandrix Campus. How about that? Forest and Plains. Lorehold Pledge Mage. I think Lorehold was the plains and mountains. Well, yeah, it's right freaking there, idiot. First day of class. Charge through. How about that? Defend the campus. Hunt for specimens. Waterfall aerialist. Sudden breakthrough. Inkling summoning. Sorcery. First uncommon is a dueling coach. It's a human monk. When dueling coach enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Pay four of uh, colorless mana or and one planes, plus tap this card. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Okay. Next on common is a Storm Kiln Artist. Hey, I've seen this one before. Storm Kiln Artist gets plus one, plus zero for each artifact you control. Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, create a treasure token. A captured elemental makes for a potent, albeit unstable, power source. Third uncommon. Closing statement is a plains and swamp. Ah, sorry, my back itched. It's an instant. This spell costs two less to cast during your end step. Destroy target creature or planeswalker you don't control. Put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature you control. In conclusion... <laughs> That's all it says at the bottom. Ooh. A hungry lair of flourishing rot. Necroblossom Snarl. As Necroblossom Snarl enters the battlefield, you may reveal a swamp or forest card from your hand. If you don't, Necroblossom Snarl enters the battlefield tapped. Adds swamp or forest. Uh, 
And, hey, look at that. Adventurous Impulse. Look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or land card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Her quest began as all quests do, with one small step in an unexpected direction. <laughs> I like that. Let's see what Necroblossom gets us. Not a damn thing right now. Now, of course, I don't have the extended art. So this is about a $2 card. Extended art is five. All right, pack number seven. And then it's seepy time. Oh, we got a token. Treasure. <sighs> Starting with a silver silver quill campus. I think I have almost all the campuses now. Prismari Pledge Mage. Rise of Extus. Arca Arcane Subtraction. Enthusiastic Study. Reckless Amplomancer. Mage Hunter's Onslaught. Study break. Introduction to prophecy. Scry to then draw a card. First uncommon is Hall Monitor. It is a lizard shaman. Haste. Pay one colorless, one mountain, and tap this card. Target creature can't block this turn. No unauthorized summoning, no writing in the library books, and absolutely no indoor dueling. <laughs> Next uncommon, Fortifying Drought. You gain two life. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the amount of life you gained this turn. If a seedling can push through solid stone, there's no limit to what I could do. Nice. Third uncommon. Hey, look at that. Secret rendezvous. You and target opponent each draw three cards. Strixhaven's fine colleges encourage natural rivalries among the students, but some bonds transcend all barriers. Ingenious Mastery. You may pay two colorless and one water rather than pay this spell's mana cost. If the two colorless and one water cost was paid, you draw three cards. Then an opponent creates two treasure tokens, and they scry two. If that cost wasn't paid, you draw X cards. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Strategic planning. Sorcery. That is cool. 
What are the top three cards of your library? Put one of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. I can offer only information, young one. What path you choose is up to you. Prismari Apprentice. Damn. Why can't I get a fucking mythic foil? That would be amazing. Maze. Bummer. Ain't worth poopy. Ah, that's the Japanese version. Damn it. What was the other one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see that one. Okay. Not even an honorable mention. Bummer. All right, come on. Three packs left. Three packs left. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Save a little time. Forkin knew it. Quandrix Pledge Mage, Mirfolk Druid. Biblioplex Assistant. Make your mark. Waterfall Aerialist. Tome Shredder. Bayou Golf. Professor's warning. Combat professor. <laughs> oh, that's putty. Arcane subtraction. Fractal summoning. Create a zero zero green and blue fractal creature token. Put X plus one plus one counters on it. Interesting. First, uncommon, practical research. Draw four cards, then discard two cards unless you discard an instant or sorcery card. The twins each research spells to defeat Exodus in their own way. Will his, his the library, Rowan his everything else, hit everything else. These two. These two. Will's on the other side. That's pretty cool. See? There's Rowan. Rowan. Uh-huh.
Next uncommon. Detention Vortex. Oh, shit. It's an enchantment and an aura. One planes. Enchant non-land permanent. Enchanted permanent can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. Pay three. Destroy Detention Vortex. Only your opponents may activate this ability, and only as a sorcery. Oh, they can. Uh, they have to pay three to destroy Detention Vortex. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Whoa. Brackish Trudge? Huh, okay. Fungus Beast. Brackish Trudge enters the battlefield tapped. Return Brackish Trudge from your graveyard to your hand. Activate only if you gained life this turn. Most trudges are covered with decaying plant matter, making them ideal breeding grounds for fungal spores. Yeesh. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. Oh, we got a good one. We got a good one. Legendary Elder Dragon! Yeah! Look at that! That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Oh. Flying. Trample. When Tanzer Quand Quandrix enters the battlefield, double the number of plus one, plus one counters on target creature you control. Whenever Tanzer Quandrix attacks... You may have the base power and toughness of other creatures you control become, become equal to Tanzer Quandrix's power and toughness until end of turn. Oh, man, I love this card. Look at all the blues and greens. Oh, let me get the foil version of this, please. Oh, I love that artwork. Oh. We got us another one. Gold Sorcery. Faithless Looting. Draw two cards, then discard two cards. Flashback. Which is, you may cast this card from your graveyard for its flashback cost, then exile it. How did you get your hands on that? Wait, never mind. I don't want to know. Dude. Let's, let's see the Faithless Looting. Alternate Art Foil Ash, that's not that one. Okay, it's that one. It's about a $3 card. And now for my new Elder Dragon. Oh. Oh, yeah. $8 card. But the foil version is a $20 card. Oh, that. Oh, that's a promo pack. Okay. Let's see, what is that? And what's this one? Pre release. Okay. Unfortunately, I was not able to get my hands on any of the pre release. However, that is another sick little hit. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Come on, give me a mythic fucking foil. Give me a mythic foil, please. Please have mythic foil. Sp 
Spirit token. Hey, got a letter of acceptance. Congratulations. Oops. Spiteful Squad. Oh, sorry. There you go. Spiteful Squad. Teach by example. Thrilling discovery. Absolutely. Just thrilling. By you, Goff. Essence Infusion. Eager first year. Berry and books. Tome shredder. Hey, environmental sciences. First uncommon, Quandrix cultivator. It's a turtle druid. <laughs> turtle. When Condrix Cultivator enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic forest or island card. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. In the garden spread across the Quandrix campus, Fern turns to forest before class is even over. That would be amazing. Zephyr Boots. Nice. Artifact equipment. Equipped creature has flying. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card, then discard a card. Equip only as a sorcery. Emergent Sequence is our third uncommon. It's a forest sorcery. Send your library. Search. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely time for bed. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield tapped. Then shuffle. That land becomes a 0, zero green and blue fractal creature that's still a land. Put a plus one plus one counter on it. For each land you had entered the battlefield under your control this turn. Ooh. Hopefully you've got a card that'll... Uh, allow you to pull more than one land or play more than one land. We got a flip card here. Merfolk Wizard. Torrent Sculptor. Ward 2. Ward is whenever this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls. Counter it unless that player pays two more. When Torrent Sculptor enters the battlefield, exile an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. Put a number of plus one, plus one counters on Torrent Sculptor equal to half that card's mana value. Round it up. Huh. Okay. Duress is our... I don't know what to call this here... Sorcery Mage card. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non creature, non land card from it. That player discards that card. Flamethrower Sonata. Discard a card, then draw a card. When you discard an instant or sorcery card this way, Flamethrower Sonata deals damage equal to that card's mana value. To target creature or planeswalker you don't control. He channels his heart's passion into every fiery note. Aww. But it isn't even worth looking up. Alright. Last pack magic. 
Let's see that mythic. Let's see a foil of either one of those two extended arts. Come on. What say you, baby? What say you? I say you go to hell. We got another elemental token. Not even going to bother. Not even going to bother. Stone Bound Mentor. Relic Sloth. Infused with Vitality. Curate. Dragon's Approach. That's pretty cool. Mage Duel. Look out. Essence in Essence Infusion. Pillar Drop Rescuer. And Pest Summoning. That is our lesson for today. Ooh, sorry, y'all. First uncommon is Wither Bloom Apprentice. Human Druid. Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. All we are, every feeling, every action, powered by a single, delicate little organ, life is so terrifyingly beautiful, beautifully fragile. Going too deep, bro. Too deep. Ingenious inspiration. Huh, okay. Ingenious inspiration deals three damage to any target. Learn. Prismari fosters a burning need to create. Third uncommon, Deadly Brew. Each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. If you sacrifice a permanent this way, you may return another permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. No one ever asks asked what was in Diana's concoction so long as they worked. Ooh, Silver Quill Command. Choose two. Oh, I know this one. Target creature gets plus three, plus three and gains flying until end of turn. Return target creature card with mana value two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Target player draws a card and loses one life. Target opponent sacrifices a creature. Kind of lame. It's not worth very much either. Oh, Divine Gambit. Sorcery. Exile. Oh, that's what this is. Is an archive, right? I think so. Anyway, exile target artifact, creature, or enchantment an opponent controls. That player may put a permanent card from their hand onto the battlefield. Evil is to be unshackled, not slain. Unlock your foe and release the miracle within. Damn it. First day of class foil. No mythical foil. But we did score some really cool mythic cards. Let's do a quick little close up of it. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, y'all, this was a pretty long run, pretty late. I'm going to brush my teeth and go to fuck to bed. Thanks for joining. Subscribe if you haven't. It's Raven. Thanks for joining the Raven's Roost.